Okay, this is the time where we do an update on Arnie's car. So, everything is the same pretty much as it was. And I said that I would be doing some 6L80E uh, research, standalone alternatives, everything else. Uh, trying to figure out, like, uh, you know, the economical poor man's way to do this, have fun and have it work. Ran into some pitfalls. So, here it is, in all its glory. L83, running, everything's good. Uh, almost completely buttoned up. I would say the only thing I need to do now is get a dipstick. I still don't have one. There's a bit of a thing with that. Uh, the one Holly recommends is not in stock anywhere, so uh, I'm not sure what I want to do about that. Uh, maybe I think an LS3 one works. Maybe some of you guys can answer that for me. Anyway, fans are good. I even did a... I had a little bit of leftover server cabinet hinge guy here. It's, it's for something. And it works beautifully as a radiator mount for the top. So it goes in between the rad and the fan. The fan uh, clips into the rad. I believe it's all F-body stuff. It all clips together. And then this guy sandwiches in between. And then I put real tiny little uh, self-tappers that are real short in there. And man, does it look neat and tidy. So, engine's running great. Uh, I just have to make this transmission work. So, uh, one of the things I debated about for a while was getting a shifter. And I got this guy, which is like a stock style GM performance parts shifter that a bunch of places sell this for a bunch of crazy different prices. Yeah, some guys said that it looks like, you know, a certain shifter out of a certain car. Uh, we can, you know, we can debate that later. Anyway, it has tap shift and everything. So I hooked this up and installed it. Uh, remind me after I make this video to include the videos where I install this. It, wor it works out really nice. So this is tap up and tap down. I'm going to try my best to wire that in. And then this is reverse, neutral. And you can go drive, and then you go manual, and that's drive again, and manual. So if you pull back, you get drive, neutral, drive, neutral. If you lever all the way back, you get manual, hopefully. So that should all be easy to do. It works great. It has uh, tap shift and reverse lockout and some other things included, but what I'm doing is changing some of that. So we'll see how that works out. Right, guys? So... And I gotta put my dash back together. Hold on, I'm crawling out of here around the lift. So, uh, that's where we are with that. What I tried to do was, more to the floor in a minute here. What I tried to do was, it's not in here anymore. Let's try this again, guys, for the fifth time. What I tried to do was, battery charger. Andy Bryant and I, Andy, awesome guy, uh, go-getter, jumped straight into this project. And he was like, yo, bro, uh, I'll make that for you. And I think I showed this off already. He built a beautiful semi-standalone E38 harness. Now, this is my ECU. I had two spare ECUs now. He built this beautiful harness, and this connects to the 6L80 and the E38, and what it was supposed to do was inject enough E38 data for us to shift the tranny. And you know what? I thought it would be simple, and the rest of us thought it would be simple too, but man, it just was not simple. It just was not as easy as we thought it would be. Uh, and it might be a bunch of reasons, but honestly, I'm just losing my patience for it, considering I have the shifter, and the car is running, and everything else is going on. So. The car can be driven right now. It has a drive shaft in it and everything. So I'm kind of annoyed at that. I spent more time than I should have, to be honest with you guys, trying to get that to work. And I don't know why. And it could be self-inflicted. It could be something with who knows, right? But I want to skip ahead. And an awesome guy named Aaron Mello, Milo, Mello. I don't know how to say it. Uh, on the sloppy private and public groups. He already has a, he has a Dodge truck. He has a Dodge truck with a Turbo LS and a Terminator 
and a 6L90E in it. And he has this controller over here, which I have, aftermarket controller, not a standalone, since the 6L80E can't be driven by itself. The TCU is a part of the valve body. The computer itself is a part of the valve body, and there's something funny with this transmission. It's called a mechatronic ECU, or a mechatronic valve body. It doesn't just, uh, it's not like a 4L80E where you turn on solenoids and that activates a circuit path and then that shifts the gears. So a TH400 has a valve body and you actuate fluids through the valve body and that tells it what to do with the fluids. And a 60E and an 80E is essentially the same except for electronics are controlling solenoids that activate those circuit paths. And then a 6L80E is entirely its own animal. I don't know about the 8 speeds or the 10 speeds. Uh, maybe some of you transmission guys can jump in. But this particular transmission has its own controller, TCU, transmission control unit, built into the valve body. And it has so many things like if it doesn't like something, it just goes into neutral. If it doesn't have things that satiate its needs, it won't go into gear. It just goes into neutral. It won't apply a gear and then the transmission itself isn't super strong but the tuning can make it very strong quote unquote so there are cars like fifth gen camaros g8s uh, ctsvs i believe that have this transmission and they go fast and they weigh a lot and they make a ton of power and they survive but it's all with careful programming so torque management is important so one of the things I'm trying to do is force all of my friends that do anything with CAN bus into doing the CAN bus Holly project, which essentially has no shoes to move anywhere at this point. Super frustrating, but we'll skip over that. Uh, at this point, I have a car that I can't drive that's fine otherwise. So Aaron already has this uh, zero gravity performance what's it called, uh, 2650 ECU, TCM 2600, 2650. This is a, I, I don't want to call it a transmission controller, but that's essentially what it is, because it doesn't control the trans. The TCU controls the trans inside the transmission. So what this is, is like a transmission, transmission suggester. It, it suggests what the transmission should do, but it makes it easier than using a uh, stock ECU in some instances, and you can use it with aftermarket stuff. So that's the big important thing here is he has a Holly, he has a Dodge truck with a Holly Terminator and a 6L90E, and he's using this controller and interfacing with both, and he has a turbo and everything, and he's effectively using the torque management where, like I said, this transmission isn't super strong as is. Like a TH400 just eats shifts. It just eats them. And a 4L80E essentially does the same thing. It just eats all the power on the shift. Well, these transmissions, when uh, coincided with appropriate electronics, can do what's called torque management and pull all the timing out of the car, complete the shift on essentially no horsepower, and then once it is engaged 100% correctly into gear, it can re-enable the torque management off and put the timing back in. And all of this can happen in tenths of a second, uh, 0.2 seconds. You can make it so fast that you'll hurt the trans. So there's a delicate balance here. And Aaron has worked all of this stuff out. He already has it functioning in like a five, 6,000 pound vehicle. So for me, with no turbo, to help him out and help you guys out is a good solution until something better comes of this. Or what we do is we develop this product to a point where it's very good. Or by the time we're done with this and it works fantastic, Holly releases something and, and validates all of this on us. And, uh, you know, that's an unfortunate uh, <laughs> paradox of this whole situation. So, Oh, let's go over. This is the controller from PCS, Zero Gravity Performance. 
So this is the controller, and it looks very much like a T, like a T42 that controls like a 4L80E on a Gen 4, and has all these breakouts, obviously. So here is the ECU itself with a very uh, Gen 4 looking connector, and there it is. So it has a base cal in it. And then here's the card, and I bought this, and uh, hey, I was struggling so bad with this last week, I called these guys up and I was like, you guys got this on the shelf, or does it have a lead time? And he's like, it's on the shelf. I said, alright, good enough for me, <laughs> I purchased it. So, uh, you tap into certain things, so here's like the laptop, like this is the USB connector. This is power ground and accessory. This is all the I.O. it has. It has a ton of I.O. for paddle shift, uh, brake switch, uh, everything you can think of, torque management. It has uh, extended I.O. stuff over here. I'm not even sure what it is. Here's uh, just a TPS breakout for itself. This goes into the tranny. Here, here's some extra pins. Uh, I think they go for that guy. And then there's an OBD2 connector, which I thought was very strange until I realized the TCU still exists inside the transmission. So this is the way that you can modify the TCU programming. That's the only way to connect to the ECU inside the transmission. And then this is Mr. Suggester right over here. And then here is a uh, very loaded wiring diagram of everything going on, which is extremely nice also. So, uh, that's where we are with this, is I could not get the cheap solution to work, and this just needs to work right now. Essentially, uh, this, this is supposed to be fun, and I, I was putting too much work into it, and it's running, and it has a drive shaft, and I'm like, hey, this guy has already hashed out 90-some uh, percent of my issues, See, the thing is, with the stock computer, even if we did get it to work, I would have no torque management. So even at 300 wheel, maybe this thing would flare shifts or hurt the transmission. Uh, but from a learning perspective, that was going to be cool. So, at least the way Aaron has it, he's, his is turboed and heavy and everything, and all of that works already. So if we, uh, for instance, wanted to turbo this, immediately eventually after uh, possible events we can because it would be able to pull all the power out and put it back in with the holly it does use some io uh, all of that stuff is you know air quotes uh, some things you'll have to consider but what you get is say this car has a 273 rear gear and a 27 inch tire with the six speed, you get fantastic ratios for uh, if someone wanted to uh, race across the country. Uh, so you have good high speed and low speed ratios. Yes, imagine that. And then if this was a race car where you wanted uh, short ratio, very tight uh, RPM and everything else, you can have that too. So the six speed is nice, but controlling it is not nice. A lot of you might understand that. And then using the stock computer is not nice, but wanting a six-speed is nice. So uh, that's where we're stuck, right? So what I'm going to do with the rest of my night is install this and set it up and get it working, getting the car driving, and then immediately after that, trying to get tap shift working. And then after that, making sure the transmission is happy and then trying to get some wide open stuff, uh, torque management, everything, etc., and then sharing it with you guys. So, I did not ask these guys if they wanted to sponsor me. I needed this product immediately. I didn't have time to screw around. Uh, I'm interested in seeing how this works uh, and whatever else comes of it. Uh, this is the only thing that I know of that controls an actual 6L, 80E, 90E, etc., it's the only product I know of that does this. So, uh, you know, they kind of own the market on this, unfortunately, until uh, I can force people to do the Holly CAN bus translator that I would like to see before Holly releases it. Because obviously they've been working on DI and some other cool stuff, and they just don't have the time or, or care because not enough people use the six speed. So it'd be cool to change that, right? Oh, whew. anyway, that is the 
Arnie's car six speed update. Hopefully the next thing I'm doing is actually driving this thing and using this because this is known to function. Whatever else I was screwing with, unfortunately, uh, wasn't working fast enough and was burning up too much of my time when the car could be ready. Hope you all understand. Would like to revisit it, etc. I hate to, I feel like I wasted Andy's time, uh, but he jumped on this and I appreciate that the most because no one else wanted to do this. And Andy was like, I'll do it. He'll help me out, no problem. Uh, he he saw what I saw, which could have been a revolutionary product, and we just had nothing but issues. And uh, unfortunately, it could have been self-inflicted, uh, whatever else. So anyway, that's where we're at. That's the update for the six-speed stuff right now. It didn't work out the way I wanted. It didn't work out the cheapest, but here we are. And we're moving on. Hopefully, we're... Uh, we're turning these wheels very soon.